I've got a lot of tools in this shop that are older than I am. And this is the newest addition. This is a platen table or an acorn table. And I've thought about them for years thinking, you know, I just wouldn't mind having one of those because there's lots of things that a blacksmith can do at a platen table that are harder to do in other places. But the likelihood of finding one and the ordeal of getting one in the shop, you know, I just didn't think about it much. Well, got a chance. Here, oh, a couple months ago, a fellow reached out, said he had one. Turned out it entailed a 408 mile trip to Vacaville, California. Took the Ford and the dump trailer down there, loaded it up and brought it home, and then had to figure out how to get it in here. So I have, and for all of my life, have had an appreciation for the pyramids. You know, the Great Pyramid in Giza and the monumental accomplishment of the big stone monoliths and edifices around the world. How did those people do that? How did they make Stonehenge? I don't know, but I like fooling with mechanical advantage. I like jacks, I like levers, I like pulleys and cables. And people laugh at me for a lot of the junk that I have in this shop, but sometimes, every once in a while, a man's just got to have a way to get a little advantage on something that's way heavier than what you might otherwise try to move around. Now when I say this thing's heavy, what I mean is it weighs 5,000 pounds. That means it's 500 pounds heavier than my power hammer, 1,500 pounds heavier than my drill press, and I don't have anything else in here that even comes close. This is heavier than a Chevy pickup. And so it's not something that you just kind of get one man on each corner and pick up and move around like a pool table, maybe, or some of the other items that we think are heavy when we're rearranging the furniture that's not in the shop. Setting aside the fact that I like it and that I've always thought that it would be a nice thing to have, there are some real practical advantages to having this in a metalworking shop. It is essentially an anvil that is five feet square with, I think the count was 178 inch and five eighths hardy holes. Think of that. You can put jigs and little bench anvils and top tools and you can bend without any fear of shifting the base that you're attached to. Let me give you an example. Even though I'm not entirely tooled up yet, let me just kind of give you a couple ideas of what this thing could be handy for. As a bending jig, you can drop, you can drop pegs, dowels, whatever you want to call them. And if this was hot, obviously it would be a lot easier. Let's just see how this works. Well, 
Well, that was an ordeal, but I'll get acquainted with this thing. I'll make some tooling for it. And you couldn't do that on anything else. Now, a Hossfield bender, which I intend to add one of these days, but the point is, you can't hurt this thing, and it will help you in lots of ways that I am completely naive to right now, but I intend to find out. So in the rear view mirror now with this thing in the shop, it's gonna fall in line with so many of the other tools that I have as a constant reminder of the, of the goodness and generosity of people and the things that people have in terms of wisdom and experience that, that I don't have. I can't thank Peter enough for giving me this table. As it turned out, he's a retired millwright, and so he was very helpful at loading time. What a plus that is. I am so appreciative to my friend Paul Weller, a retired house mover who lives not too far from me, who could loan me a bunch of cribbing, which otherwise would have been expensive, and I could sort of bounce my idea off of him about jacking it up and cribbing it up and getting under it. And so I guess this is consistent, isn't it? That nobody knows everything, and nobody has everything, but if you're lucky enough to have and make and uh, add friendship to your life, you have so many more opportunities for, for, I'll just say joy and accomplishment and satisfaction. So thanks, Peter, very much. Paul, thanks for the boost. This is a nice thing to have in my shop, and I can't wait to learn how to make something beautiful on it. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.